that makes it even more inspiring to because I remember once listening to one of your podcasts ages ago and you talking about how balancing it with work and stuff like that mm -hmm. and obviously it's a very inspirational and may Allah reward you because it's hard mm -hmm. even though mine like managing mine but I agree with you like, once you get to that stage in terms of where you want to put yourself in front of the camera yeah because you just have to find a low resistance way of doing it that works for you because just from my experience experience with this only recently like the last month and a half I've done consistent guest interview podcasts like I did one in 2020 and then one in 2021 and then now I've mm -hmm. I did more in 2021 but it wasn't consistent whereas now I found a, a system you just have to find a system the setup right. is just where my normal desk is for work I've just got a ring light up I've got this thing on the side and then I just record the podcast and then chop it up into different clips that act as like content on its own and then chop that up again into 60 second reels so it's like the ratio between input and output isn't that much because it's like one bit of input and then the output is multiplied and then little things as well like little tools that help you is like calendly like the scheduling sometimes these little tools that you think are insignificant like we have that david goggins type mentality i don't know if you've heard of him but it's like yeah, where you just get yourself through it and stuff and it's but then these things make it easier as in before there's a thing in self development that the more resistance there is the less likely you're going to do it as in the more kind of cognitive resistance there is between anything and it's like that because before i'd reach out to someone on instagram and then it's like they might message the next day back and then it's, are you happy to do it? And they'd be like, yeah, I'm happy. And then you're like, okay, are you free next week? They'd be like, no. And you're just doing everything manually and you lose the motivation and stuff. And then, whereas with this Calendly, it's like, are you right, happy right. to do it? And they're like, yeah. And then send them the link and they schedule it themselves according to their time. And right, it cuts right. everything. It makes it so much easier. And what I'm trying to say by that is you find like a little system that works for you. And then the other thing with YouTube is I would suggest like, collaboration is big because it's like the content on its own may get traction depending on the topic um, which is why it's good to create multiple clips like you were saying because essentially you're increasing the surface area for it to attach to some topic and get traction and the more you do it there's more chances of it as long as you're getting a high click through rate and stuff because otherwise some people say if you don't upload a thumbnail and you just pump out the content you might not really get anywhere but yeah I was just sharing that to see if I could be of any assistance in terms of but I think yeah I've got through everything that I wanted to and which rarely happens because sometimes you have a list and I think I've managed to get through most of the things that I wanted to ask you about and uh, I don't know if you wanted to say anything to finish off well regarding I know this was that one yeah, so, I'm sorry okay, no well, yeah carry on okay regarding the finding a system one thing that's worked for me and i know i do like most of us i work a 40 hour week job and got wife and kids and all these other things that pull out my attention but i would suggest for anyone who's trying to build something on the side and you still got to work and got to worry about family or school or anything like that the system that i suggest is on the days that you have to work try to put one hour into your side business or side project or whatever is going on at least one hour a day on those are days that you have to work on the days that you don't have to work, whether it's the weekend or whatever, really try to grind a lot and get a lot of work done on the weekends or whatever your two days off or however many days you have off. This will help. And over time, you'll see that even if it's just an hour a day, if you can do that on the days that you work, it will all add up. And I know people can come back home and they're tired or you got to figure out what time of the day works for you best. But an hour a day on the days that you work or go to school, if that's what you're into, unless you're doing right now. And then on the days that you have off, really try to put two or three or four hours into your side project and see how that will really allow you to get a lot of work, more work done. That's helped me a lot in trying to combine everything. And then also remember, it's, it's your project. You don't have to come out with a new episode every single week. It's yours. Mm. Don't put the pressure on yourself to come out with a new project every single week. Try to be somewhat consistent with it. Don't do once every six months. That's too, that's not good enough either. Take some, mm. Take a break if you have to. And, you know, people who who rock with you, people who like what you're doing, they'll come back, inshallah. If they'll put out a new episode, they'll be there when, when you put out a yeah. new episode. That's yeah, my advice. Doing that. Yeah, because with the Islamic History Podcast, it's definitely a bit like how that guy behind a Hardcore History, he uploads one episode like after ages. Yeah. Because, and I think with Islamic History, the each episode is contained or each topic is like or each season is contained within itself kind of thing so it's yeah. like an evergreen kind of form of content that 
it's timeless, mashallah. And also, obviously, we were talking practically, but obviously, we don't really have to worry that much about results if the intention's there. So sometimes mm. it's easy to get into the results, but then just back out and focus on intention and effort and understand that the reward is commensurate to that rather than the actual metrics. So that's another one. But you reminded me, actually, because I don't know why I would have regretted cutting off the interview without asking you. I was going to ask you about, so that's how you manage it, essentially, that tip about, working one day uh, one hour a week one hour a day when you're at work or on a working day yeah because any other tips in terms of managing your schedule or like things like that because i would say give you definitely give yourself a even on the days that I, like for me this is a, sunday is a weekday for me i don't work today and on saturdays and sundays when i have when i don't have to work and i put most of my effort into creating a new episode or trying to get a new project done on these days I tell myself to uh, basically, I get off at 8 o'clock p.m. at the very latest. I try to finish things up at 8 o'clock p.m. And that's the time when I play video games, watch movies, spend time with my kids. And sometimes I take a full day off. You have to have time to relax. If you don't, yeah. then uh, it is important to have some time to relax, take some time off for yourself. Not, I think a lot of the problems really is the pressure of trying to consistently create content. And you don't, it is, I know you want to do it. And maybe you might even get your fans telling you, Bro, we're going to put on another episode. I'm waiting for a new episode. And I know that we feel beholden to our fans and we feel that like we have an obligation to them. We do have some obligation to our fans and our followers, people who who uh, like our content and stuff like that. We do have an obligation to them. We have an obligation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have an obligation to your family. You have an obligation to yourself. If you're not taking care of yourself, you can't do these things for everyone else. Spend some time at the gym or exercising, whatever it is you need to do. Take some time to relax, play video games, get your work done first and <laughs> say, and give yourself a time limit. And if you miss it, if you miss the deadline, you're the boss. So and give yourself a new deadline. If your deadline was for Monday, give yourself a deadline on Tuesday. You're the boss. You can change your deadline however you want and just do the best you can and apologize if you have to afterwards or don't apologize. It's not that important. It's not yeah. that big of a deal. But the thing is that you got to take some time to relax, give yourself a time to, to knock off work or your project, whatever it is. And, uh, Whatever it is you need to gather yourself back. But as always, try and get the big things done first. And I know one one thing I found is very useful is just making a list of things you want to get done for the day or for the week. Maybe the week is better. So you write down everything you want to get done for your week. I usually put them on a whiteboard. I have it behind me right now. You, you can't see it, but it's back there on the other side of the, mm. the camera. Have a list of things I want to get done and just go through it for the whole week. So got to research this. I got to prepare for a khutbah. I got to do this i gotta do that and just research and one by one knock it out and these can be even be personal items gotta go to the store got a doctor's appointment gotta do this that put that down on, on your list and one by one check them off and inshallah you'll find you get a lot more things done if you have a mental list of what of things you want to do and not just try to memorize everything because that's not going to always work so those are the tips yeah. i have be prepared to relax and make a list and check them off as you can a week list i think is better than i'm going to a weekly list is better than a daily list is what I was trying to say. Yeah, because it gives you like that element of flexibility if necessary, swap things right. around and stuff like that. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.